Do it for a tow truck driver says that he was able to walk away with just a few cuts and some soreness after this very scary collision along Interstate 85. Yeah, he was loading a car onto the back of his tow truck when another car there slams right into the back. Today, the driver told us this is the closest call he's ever had, but he says what happened isn't actually out of the ordinary. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger is live near where that crash happened along Interstate 85 in University. And Derek, does the tow truck driver or the company here blame who they blame for the crash? Well, they are blaming the uh, driver of an SUV who apparently did not slow down. They say that driver was the one that was seriously injured in the crash. We are still working to get an update on their condition, but the crash you saw just a moment there, um, just a moment ago, and we do have a look at some of the after effects, some of the damage afterwards. Now, the tow truck company that was out on the road at the time, Catton's Towing, they actually showed us the car that they were trying to get off the interstate at the time. It was a pickup that only had a flat tire. The driver who was on the interstate yesterday told us the car that hit them did not appear to slow down and hit at such a force that it totaled in the broken down pickup and caused some significant damage to the tow truck and threw the tow truck driver up against a wall. We had a chance to talk with that tow, uh, tow truck driver earlier. He says he has some cuts and bruises and is sore, but believe it or not, it's otherwise fine. I had plenty of things on to where I, I should have been seen. Yeah. But Unfortunately, I wasn't. We also have some video from inside the cab of that truck as that crash was happening, too. We're going to be showing that to you at 5, plus the message that he and the tow truck company have for everyone out there. For now, we're live in University. Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.